Welcome back, fillers and gentle colts, to another episode of oh, Brony Plays Minecraft. Some bad news, folks. Look at this. I said last time I was um, going to wait a little while before picking up the next episode. But uh, something's come up, as you can see. These things. Look at it, they just look disgusting, don't they? Um, they first clued me into the what was happening when I kept getting some weird frame rate drops. Yeah, I was listening to YouTube, but I mean, come on now, really? Look at this. I'll bet if we were to sit here, we'd see them spread. Ugh. These are decay blocks. There, there, one of them just spread. Um, and some just fell. That's right, folks. You can't get these things to drop, as far as I can tell. There's no tool that will do it. And that's kind of fine. You wouldn't really want them to drop anyways. Um, they're just... Yeah, you know, what would you do with them anyway? Ah, uh, really unfortunate. It means that this world is corrupted. Now, we could... We might be able to remove some of the corruption by uh, destroying the decay blocks. But that doesn't mean that more won't appear. Where's my shovel? Uh, apparently, we just broke into water. And some blocks just fell. Well, at least we got some gold out of that. We have a little bit more time down here before we need to head out. I really wish we could have found uh, some diamonds. But it's not good to waste that much time down here. On the other hand, that actually doesn't really matter. We have a way out at any time. So, um, we're going to mine these last two shafts. The decay blocks in the new updates spread a lot slower than they used to, but that's still a huge problem. If you want to make sure that an area you live in has no decay blocks, you, or at least I should say, will be safe from the decay, there are some things you can do. One, you can build a floating home. Um, those are safe from decay because they're not touching anything else. Um, two, you could just go and remove all the decay blocks in an area. That's not going to protect you. Um, you'll need an air buffer. Decay blocks won't spread through the air. They'll only spread to adjacent blocks. But, of course, that means if there's even one decay block anywhere in the world, then there are problems. No diamond. Maybe we should have gone farther down. It's a real shame. I wonder what tipped this world's balance. Who knows? Are we at 11? If we go down at all, we might find something. Uh, possibly, but I have some pretty big doubts there. We really should be like TNT mining or something else. No, we're out of it. Just a moment. Alright folks, I'm not going to stick around much longer down here. Just wanted to show you that uh, Tyrexia is not long for this world. A bad pun. And I'm out of a pick again. Alone, underground, lost. No, I'm not lost, but yeah. All right, folks. I will catch you in a little bit. We're gonna. I'm gonna cut as I get out of here, and I will.
catch you back in the overworld. Oh, some gold. Oh, hold on. I gotta get that. Oh, man. I'll catch you guys in the overworld, okay? Hang tight. Okay, so I lied. Um, I'm not at the overworld yet. I'm still down in Tyrexia in the depths. But, um, in case you were wondering whether or not the water would protect you, uh, as you can see, it absolutely positively is not. In fact, as the decay grows, and I'm being stupid by standing right here, as the decay grows, it's actually eating away the water source blocks um, of, of it. Now, it doesn't look like it's reaching all the way up. It does, I mean, it, it looks like it's stopping at the air, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I'm going to move away before it hits me there. But, um, actually, if you look through here, you can see, I, I tried pointing out the screen right there, there are some areas like there, 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 that look like kind of depressions. Um, there are places where water's falling through. And there was that one hole way over there. I, I don't know if that's still the issue. Um, which, so, yeah, the, the decay is spreading. We've, we've got to go. Um, and this time, I actually will see you out on the overworld. Oh god, I don't know what that is. This time, I will see you out on the overworld, alright? Alright, we're back in the overworld, like I promised. <sighs> Here lies Tyrexia. Kind of, sort of, in ruins. I was going to put a, a flag up for it. But it's, it's going to fall. I don't know how much of it will fall. I'm, I'm not sure. The decay may just eat away the bottom, but there's I mean, there's a lot of open area where the decay might not reach. Decay blocks don't travel up. They only travel sideways and down. So there are areas where it, you know, there are areas that might be safe from the decay. I don't know for sure, but um, the house down way down at the bottom is definitely not. That's going to fall. So, I am, unfortunately, I'm going to have to take this down. I don't know what, maybe single, ex, maybe Extreme Hill's Edge is not a good biome to use. I, I don't know. Maybe Wooden Tendrils doesn't go with Cave World. Who knows? These were ages that I just didn't want to bother with. These are ages that are decayed. And this is a brand new age we haven't visited yet, and a linking book to go with it. Um, I wanted to do something with it. I wanted to, well, I was tempted to try writing again. See if we could write an age, and uh, who knows, maybe it would be balanced, maybe not. This one, after all, is kind of weird. And look, it, it's it's Eternal Day, but it's another cave world. No one wants that. No. So let's look at what we've got. I mean, we have a whole new stuff, right? Age 77. We're going to rename it. Atris. It'll be nice. It'll be nice. Okay. How about checkerboard biomes? That's kind of fun. There's one. You to put it in there. You can't take it out. So we'll checkerboard some biomes, and therefore I think we should limit ourselves to two. Now, they should be sensible biomes. So, Frozen River and... Um, uh, Extreme Hill's Edge is probably not sensible. Beach and Desert are pretty sensible. Well, Desert is. Desert is definitely. I don't know about Beach. Uh, Mushroom Island is kind of weird. But we could have like a Desert Plains mix, or maybe a Desert Taiga. Oh, that would be really cool. Let's try that. Desert Taiga. There we go. A Desert Taiga mix. Who knows? Maybe that's, maybe that'll be imbalanced. We need an imbalanced edge. Lighting. Well, I definitely don't want it to be dark, so we'll go with standard lighting. Sky. Blue sunset. Colorized fog. Normal fog. Blah, blah, blah. Um, red sky. No one likes a red sky. So we'll go with normal sky color. Um, but I think we should go with a blue sunset. That'll be kind of fun. Terrain features. Ooh, what do we have in our terrain? We could put lakes, but that might be hard to fit with checkerboarded biomes. Um, ravines? That might be nifty. Villages? Tendrils? I love the tendrils. I, I just I really like those. Tendrils. 
Should we also try ravines? Hmm. Hmm. That could be nifty. That could be nifty. Let's look at terrain generation flat and cave world. I don't want either one of those. Well, maybe we should just go with flat so that we don't get cave world. Time. Slow time, normal time, eternal night, dusk, and day. Let's go with slow time. And a world modifier, we can make it a skyland if we wanted to, but let's not. I don't know. Lakes, ravines, or shall we just stick with just stick with tendrils? Maybe maybe we'll try lakes. Okay, we'll see what this one's like. We Mm, I don't know, I really don't want to have a cave world. I really don't. A flat world is also equally boring, but... We'll give it a shot. Here we go. We've written an age. Now let's see what we get from it. Put it right there. Let's take a look. We're traveling. Traveling slowly. Hello. Hello, frame rate. Gah. And way high up. Okay. Alright, we rendered a little bit. So let's see where we are. Oh my goodness, we are very high. Yes, indeed. Wow, look at that. How high up? We're at the... we're at 69. We're actually not that high up. Maybe this is a flat world after all. I'm kind of... I'm seeing what might be land down there. Hmm. Hard to say. Hard to say. Let's put our linking book... Right there, so that we know where it is. Um, and we're gonna want to leave. You can see there's where the taiga biomes are. Covered in snow. We're definitely going to want to leave a trail of torches. Even though. Oh, look at that. That's the blue sunset. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's very beautiful. I love it. I want to see other sunset colors now. Okay, so we're going to work our way down. We're going to. Uh, at least I think we're going to work our way down. These tendrils. I don't know, that just goes up. I don't want to get down. I want to see the rest of the world. I want to go find some diamonds. It's a... I don't know, lakes kind of look like we're underwater, but it's still cool. Shall we go this way? Let's go this way. No, that just... Oh no! We're on like a little tendril island! Haha! <laughs> oh no! Oh. Okay. Oh, look, there we go. We can climb down there. We'll do we'll do it like this. Hopefully I got this right. Oops. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Always exciting exploring a new age. Seeing what's Seeing what sort of strange new world we're in. I might even, dare I say, what sort of brave new world we're in. Oh, literary reference, snap. Oh snap, son. You got referenced by literature. We can put some windows in here. Make it nice and bright. Hopefully we don't. Oh, fine. We wanted that one kept. Not that one. No. No. Goodness. I want that one. There we go. Alright. This reminds me of an, of an adventure map. More like a survival map that I played. I played one of the, um, one of Vex's survival maps at one point before I had my new computer, and I, it was the forest one. Um, if you know of the Vex's maps at all, then you'll know what I'm talking about. 
if you've never heard of these before in your entire life, then I'm probably just saying gibberish now. They're super hard survival adventure maps meant to provide a really big, a really tough challenge. And, um, and, and they do. They do a very good job of it. They do a very good job indeed. So, um, the one in particular that I'm referencing is one where you're in a jungle and it's super hostile. Um, I think that's what the entire series is called, the super hostile maps or something. Now, I'm kind of wondering if there is any terrain, or maybe this just goes all the way down to bedrock. That would be so weird. Look, I don't see anything down there. If that's the case, I can't see, I can't possibly see how this age is stable. But anyways, um, this, back, this, um, super hostile map, Jungle Canopy, was, um, just this incredibly dense, heavy jungle. But that's all it was. And, um, you had to venture through this jungle and collect pieces of a monument known as the Victory Monument. Ha ha! But you could be victorious. A trail of breadcrumbs here. And, um, yeah. If you managed to complete the Victory Monument, you had to, in order to do it, you had to find... I don't trust you at all, chicken. You're gonna knock me off and something's not right with this world, so I don't trust you at all. Probably the only piece of all. Anyways, I mean, there wasn't anything, like, real that happened when you completed the monument. It just meant that you were more or less done. Um, but it was hard. I mean, the, the trees everywhere, literally everywhere, are so dense. They were just... You were never out of wood, but you... Every other resource was kind of scarce. Uh, stone was a little scarce. No, it's not really scarce because you could always dig down and get some. But you had to fend off mobs, go find all these colors of wool for the victory monument. And I don't know. Mostly, it just—it's just that these tendrils remind me of it. That's all. All right. Well, um, we're down at twenty-nine. That is the void. There is no land here at all. Like, it, it, it's gone. It, it never, we don't have land. There just isn't any. There's, this world is made up of two blocks, air and wood. That's it. Oh, well, okay, there's snow. So when it rains, the snow will checkerboard into a... here will inaugurate this world with its very first, probably only, snow funk. There. Funk right there. I don't want to be the one to say this world is worthless. It's certainly not. And it would be an interesting world to build a house in. We can still do that. Uh, let's follow the bread and don't get lost otherwise. We can still build a house here, but this is not going to be a place that we're going to Spend a lot of time looking for well, diamonds or whatever. And with limited building materials, I wonder what in the world our house would be made out of. Hmm. Uh, the benefit to a world like this is that we should be able to tell fairly quickly whether it's, you know, at a glance, whether it is balanced or not. Whether this is a balanced age or imbalanced age, and I'd say this is a fairly balanced age. Um, well, no, okay. I think this is an imbalanced age because there's no land! But, if there's no land, that might mean there's no decay blocks. Who knows? Who knows? The world has such a low density, it'd be incredibly hard to figure that out. Whether, I mean, we'd have to just wait and wait and wait and see if things happen. If I start losing frame rate at some point while I'm in here, then I would know. But for now, for now, 
I think we can declare. I do declare. I do declare indeed. I think we can declare this world to be a uh, relative success. So far, it's balanced. That might not mean it will always be balanced, but so far, it's balanced. Ah, and now we're high enough up, we're above sea level, that the ground appears, well, the void appears blue instead of black. When we got down that far, it was black. Let's go back to the overworld then. Here we are. Let's see. Did we get anything here? Void. Oh, there were supposed to be lakes, but, um, nope. It gave us something new instead. It gave us void. Let's, let's add that. And we're going to rename it. Void is kind of creepy. It's a weird world. That's a very frightening world. I mean, what if you didn't have those tendrils to land on? Would you just spawn and fall into the void and die? Your game would be done. That is a terrifying, terrifying thing. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I'll call it the rift. Let's see, where does void... Here we go. Terrain generation. Void, as in no terrain. I don't know. Uh, I think there's always a block to stand on. I think. We could test that. Want to test it? Let's test it. Uh, we're going to need a book. And another book for a linking book. Let's just make a linking book real quick. Ooh. Ooh. You know what? Alright. Okay, so. My timer just went off. That's perfect. Because I don't want to lose my game. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a void world. And I'm not going to put anything else in it. So it's going to be... Well, I mean, we'll have to put some other stuff in there. But, we're going to have void. Biome controller doesn't really matter what it is, right? It doesn't, doesn't really, won't really matter. Who, who cares? Who cares? It'll, it'll be void. It's, we'll make it a single biome. We'll make it, we'll make it planes. Okay? Um, we do need some sky, so let's just give it normal sky color, normal fog, normal sunset colors. Um, lighting? Oh, light, there's lighting. That was sky. We'll give it standard lighting, time, uh, normal time, world modifier, I'm not going to mess with that. We're not going to add any of these just in case something appears. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm we're going to set this down and um, I'm going to set this down. And before I go, I'm going to um, cut the video and make a backup. I've been doing that anyways. Um, it's been useful, but I'm going to make a backup. And find out. Alright, so, void test. When we come back, we're going to try this out. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, keep on trying. And don't fall in!